is. Mike was knocking people out. Mike was knocking people out. Clean up. Outside of one round is with Mike. Quick fights, first two rounds. How well did Mike do when it was when the fight was a lot longer? By the way, how well did Mike do when he actually fought fighters? Like Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Buck Douglas. If you was taller than Mike with some long arms, you and you know how to box, you'd beat Mike's ass. Right. So I'm saying, Floyd Mayweather, how many times has he lost? What does that mean? He, he hasn't lost. He knows how to fight. He knows how to stick and move. He's made the to run. He doesn't. I'd want Mike Tyson to, to train me, too. No way. Floyd. Tyson going to go in there and have him just throw bombs. Shape. Listen, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Right. And you know who may said that? Who? Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>day one the key is never stop i'm telling you no matter how bad it hurts or what's going on keep it going
you can roll up to a parking lot or into, into a gym outside and just say, hey, invite the whole community to come train. So we got out on the road, we got to see everybody and had a blast. So check it out at Reebok for more information. So we did um, a tour across the country um, going to see all of our trainers from Reebok. And so yeah, I had everything stop, you know, do a quick seminar, have a workout. It could be at a parking lot, it could be at a, at a gym. It was pretty neat. That's one thing that's cool about Reebok. They're all about the community. So they thought this was a cool way to partner with Ford and go, go out and see everybody. So I live in Columbus, so they came and saw me the last um, High State Michigan weekend. Oh, so, really? Yeah, Good timing? Cool. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's very cool. How long have you been doing that? The, the tour? Uh, so I didn't do the actual tour, I was one of the stops. Um, they did it for, I think, 90 days. So nothing too crazy, but it was just kind of like a pilot. Mm -hmm. It went really good. So so they thought it'd be cool to kind of show, because I know this is uh, one of the concept vehicles that they, they can deck out for all kinds yeah. of different things. So this is probably the first. So they designed it out the way yeah. you told we needed it yep. for all here. Yep, absolutely. And if you were like a warm, a warm, you know, climate trainer, I mean, this could be your gym. If you want to park, you can go in and have all kinds of clients. Pretty neat. Yeah, no kidding. A little uh, less overhead than uh, and having a gym. Exactly. You know how the world's going. <laughs> exactly. That's very cool. Yeah, it's cool. Good chatting, man. What's that? We almost had a, oh, yeah? a volunteer. Yes. I'd like to load it up with like, I wish we had like 315, then we get somebody to come over and deadlift it, it'd be good. What's up, guys? That's not gonna be All right, me. now. No. It's not going to be me. I think, yeah, I've done about 10 sets yeah. so far. <laughs> nah, we're Jeez. just messing around. <laughs> <laughs>
Guy runs an advertising agency that um, does the whole uh, the whole trade show, which is pretty cool. Falls the podcast can't be stopped. Listen, day one, super successful here at the Ford Auto Show. I probably deadlifted all the weight we got, which is like 360, at least 20 or 30 times. We had uh, the kettlebells and everything else wrapped on it. I got the lunge through the Ford area, which was awesome to see some of the reactions with rotors, which are about 20 pounds a piece. And in general, anytime we can spread fitness in a unique way, and this is definitely a unique way. People are definitely kind of wild about what we had going on here. I'm game. So I can't wait for day two. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>